if you watch this channel, you know that we cover all kinds of kayaks in here. Pedal drive kayaks, paddle kayaks, and even motorized kayaks. And you know where I stand. But it's my job here to give you my honest opinion about kayaking in 2023. So, are pedal kayaks worth your money? Let's talk about it. Man, I should have put my sunglasses on. Now you got so many options that you can choose from when it comes to pedal drive system. Back in the day, you only had two. Either the native watercraft propel system or the Hovey Mirage drive system. And if you want to reverse, you have no choice but to go with the propel drive. But now you got endless options from thousands of brands. You even got reverse on those Mirage drive system or even 360. And you get a ton of different options when it comes to the PDL propel drive. But the question you're having today, the question you're asking today, are they still worth your money? If you want to be in the water just fishing or just enjoying nature and you want to have your hands free like I have them now to either snap a picture, cast, get a sip of water, they're totally worth your money, dude. Because you're able to do all that stuff. I mean, I hate reaching for my paddle, unless I want a paddle. Like if I want to go for an easy, slow paddle through the mangrove, just taking it easy, I could get really shallow, maybe get really close to that fish, but just enjoy nature, like feel like I, I'm there and smell everything. I don't want to hear the sound or anything. Yes, uh, just a paddle cat would do. But if your goal is to actually go fishing, to actually capture that image you want to capture, to just have fun on the water. Even a workout, I would say, a pedal dry kayak is totally worth your money. Right now, you got so many choices. You could go with a really low budget option like the Ryo Makeups, $1,100. You even have inflatable type of paddleboard kayaks that come with a drive and they don't cost a lot of money. And they simply just go on a bag, like the Ryo Mako Air 8.5, which is super impossible to flip, by the way. Is that really a kayak? Well, it doesn't really matter. I think it fits the definition of a kayak, something transportable, something easy to use, and it gives you that hands-free. And pretty much, it's like a dock. You could fish of it, jump, do a bunch of stuff, and you don't have to worry about flipping over. You may fall over though. The idea of a pedal drive kayak is something that is made for fishing let me explain when you think of a pedal drive kayak you think of a heavy wide boat and what you get out of a heavy wide boat is a stability and room to fish off i mean i think of a, something like a pdl 106 from old town or a, even a 120 i think of a slayer max 10 or 12 from native watercraft I think of a Hobie Pro Angler 3, 360 or 12 or 10 or even a Hobie Outback. I think of kayaks that are a joy to use on the water. The Titan 13.5 or the 12. I mean, they do have their giant drawbacks, like they're super heavy and annoying and cumbersome to use off the water. It's at the Outback. But once you're on the water on those boats, you feel like you're on a better than a boat. You have your hands free. Oh, my. Well, you have to use one hand for steering, but anyways, you get the point. You could keep moving to your spot while you're rigging up, while you're drinking a sip of water. A lot of times, if you need to drink water, you have to stop paddling and drink that water and then spend another 10 minutes just trying to recoup the ground that you just lost by drinking water. Like you decide not to drink water. And bro, like if you want to be watching a YouTube video, like let's say, let's say you want to hit that spot over there two miles out and there's a fish that you want to catch, say it's a bum fish, and you don't know how to target it, you could literally go on your phone, on face, uh, on YouTube, Facebook, whatever, doesn't matter, and how to catch a bum fish in this, in shallow waters in Florida. And you could literally be learning how to catch the bum fish while you head into your spot. You cannot do that with a paddle kayak, unless you have a motor, you know, and motors, BSP, I love motors. So anyways, uh, I, I did a video about why pedal kayaks are dead and it's because the motor kayaks killed them. <laughs> but I mean, come on, for some people, it's not for everybody. So it's still worth your money because it allows you to do those extra things that a normal pedal kayak wouldn't allow you to do. And here's the other thing. Here's kind of like the sad thing. Pedal drive kayak is what drives the money in the industry. People want to buy a pedal drive kayak because that's the best. If you want the newest, best kayaks with all the new, new whole 
designs and, and a nice seat and everything you're not gonna find it on a paddle only kayak you're gonna find it on a pedal drive kayak because this company is gonna put their time and effort and money into designing the best fishing machine they can and then they're gonna do that for a paddle kayak and so on so if you want the best, you're gonna have to go for the pedal drive kayak. Something that you don't think of is that a pedal drive kayak is still a kayak. You can still paddle it like one. Yes, of course, there are, some of them are super bulky, not worth even touching the paddle, true. But some of them are not. Like the Hobie Outback is really nice to paddle. Lightning Strike 120, it's really nice to paddle. The Bonafide P127 is another kayak that is nice to paddle. Now, if you're talking about a Pro Angler 14 or 12, yeah, those are not nice to paddle. A Titan 13.5 is not nice to paddle. So you basically, you have to do your own research, right? You gotta see what kind of waters you fish. You gotta, you gotta see if it's worth for you because it's worth for me because I fish deep water and I hate paddling but it may not be worth it for you because you fish flats and you love paddling another reason why they're worth their money is newbies so here's the thing if you're new to kayaking and you want to have a really great experience get yourself a nice pedal drive kayak either a hobby with a fin style drive or something like the old town with a pro drive 106 120 or you could get one of the other budget options but like i think if you're new and you have the money and the budget you should totally get something that is super high quality and that you're gonna be happy about those brands make great kayaks you should definitely check them out hobie hates me by the way uh, they don't like me because i'm i tell you honest things but if you're new or you have people that you want to introduce into kayaking i think the best way to do that is to put them on a pedal drive kayak something that is stable something that is fast allows them to use their legs just like they use their bikes they're gonna catch a bunch of fish or take a bunch of pictures of nature and be hooked so for newbies pedal drive kayaks are amazing totally worth the money another reason why pedal drive kayaks are worth their cost their money your money because sometimes you don't want to deal with this you don't want to put gas on your motorized kayak or you don't want to charge the batteries even though you should totally put a nice motor on it either a bisbee or just a trolley motor and use amp outdoors lithium batteries which are the best lithium batteries you could buy with your money use coupon code alias5 to save you five percent just amazing batteries and i highly highly recommend but then you're gonna have to register your boat then you have to like deal with an extra accessory that you have to take and there's a lot of stuff. Miami! Hey! <laughs> but then you have to deal with taking something else with you, like a battery or managing cables and doing installation on your kayak. And something that a lot of people hate, registering your kayak. People hate registering stuff, even though they're already registered to fish, they need to have a license to fish they hate having to register their kayaks as well which i don't understand why it's such it's such a problem but hey you know i don't like what is that i don't like yes i don't like avocado and a lot of people do I, I don't get it i don't understand why you would like waste calories on aguacate but hey a lot of people do so you know same thing a lot of people don't like to register their boats i don't understand it but hey basically pedal drive kayak allows you to have the benefits of having a motorized kayak without having to deal with registering your kayak or batteries and stuff like that but i highly recommend you actually get the benefits of having a motorized kayak in your pedal drive kayak by using bispies and all the things that i just mentioned because it's gonna allow you to stay in your range be happier in the water catch more fish and thank me later you got a channel on youtube yeah <laughs>